but trying to get a program over there. I'm going to back off a little bit. But they had these tours going on, and so uh, they won this last year. We were celebrating 100 years, and so over over in in Israel, for the Jews, they actually had a they actually had a group getting together that they were going to celebrate some of the Pentecostal stuff. And so they sent a young man over at the headquarters, and they said to Brother uh, Big Old, they said, would you, would you just go represent us over there? Because, you know, God can do to us and give us this revelation. Now, you know, I don't know what the group's going to do over there, and I don't know what's all happened, but they said, would you just go over there and you just be represented for us? So he put all the spiritual and they were going to the Holy Land and all that stuff. They got to, if you've ever known anyone that's had those tours, before you get to the end of it, you'll wind up at the river of Jordan. When you get to the river of Jordan, they tell you that's where Jesus was baptized. Now, that water's not holier than any other place. But when they got to that riverside, they said, we're going to give places for, for different denominations to baptize. He gets up there. I'm, I'm going to read to you. And at the river of Jordan, the scene was set for the most extraordinary experience I have ever had in regards to the preaching at a baptismal service in all of my ministry. I was asked to perform a baptism. He was just there showing up, but people came there and asked me. He said, I was asked to ask baptisms for four individuals as follows a Anglican priest, leader, and author. Number two was the life of the Assembly of God, Midwest Hispanic Coordinator, the senior producer for the, uh, the CD Broadcasting Association, and, and his cameraman. And so what happened was, all three of these went down in the lovely name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 